Welcome to Road to Homesteading. I'm Jason. The past few days have been cold and frigid in Pennsylvania. Today warmed up to about 50, so I made the most of it and took a hike. While I was out, I came across some rose hips. Rose hips can be eaten raw, but we use them in our tea and kombucha. And the best time to harvest rose hips is in the cooler months after the first frost, where they become soft and sweet. The multiflora rose is a common invasive species originating from Japan and China and can be found in abundance in our area. And I do recommend using gloves if you plan to gather rose hips. To air dry rose hips, I give them a really good rinse and drain and then dry them off on a towel. Next, I destem the rose hips and remove any trash or unripened rose hips. To destem, you can use your hands. The quickest way I found is to use a pair of scissors. Next, I spread the rose hips out on the cardboard paper and let them sit for a few weeks, giving them a turn every few days until they are completely dry, and then store in a glass drawer or a brown paper bag. A quicker way is to use a dehydrator or a toaster oven. I use my toaster oven lots when I'm in a hurry. You can spread out the rose hips on your toaster tray on a piece of aluminum foil and then turn your toaster oven to the lowest setting and then run it for 10 minutes each time for about one hour. This really depends on the size of your rose hips and it could take up to four or five hours to completely dry. When your rose hips are completely dry they look similar to this. Then you can store them in a glass drawer or a brown paper bag in a cool dark area. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.